सॉल्व द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन डी स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव डी माइनस सिक्स इंटू वाई इक्वल टू साइन फोर एक्स एंड साइन एक्स फॉर दिस फॉर एवरी प्रॉब्लम इट इज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एफ ऑफ डी इंटू वाई इक्वल टू क्यू ऑफ एक्स वेर एफ ऑफ डी इक्वल टू डी स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव डी माइनस सिक्स क्यू ऑफ एक्स इक्वल टू साइन फोर एक्स एंड साइन एक्स आई नो द मेथड साइन फोर एक्स आर कास फोर एक्स आज कास फाइव एक्स बट हियर मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ टू टर्म्स साइन फोर एक्स इंटू साइन एक्स इज देर देन यू शुड कन्वर्ट दिस क्वांटिटी एज वन क्वांटिटी मीन्स साइन आर कॉस लाइक दैट नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू पार्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी फंक्शन एंड पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल नाउ आई विल फोकस ऑन कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी फंक्शन टू सॉल्व द कॉम्प्लीमेंटरी फंक्शन to get the complementary function consider auxiliary equation f of m equal to 0 m square plus 5m minus 6 equal to 0 again by using the splitting the middle term factors are m minus 1 into m plus 6 equal to 0 m equal to 1 comma minus 6 therefore 1 and minus 6 are real numbers and both are different therefore complementary function yc equal to c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus 6x this is complementary function now particular integral the general formula of the particular integral is 1 by f of d into q of x yp equal to 1 by d square plus 5d minus 6 into sin 4x and sin sin x we don't have the method for sin 4x and sin x you should convert into one quantity we have one formula in trigonometry to sin a cos b formula is cos a minus b minus cos a plus b by using this formula already we know these formulas very well 2 sin a cos b equal to cos a minus b minus cos a plus b sin a sin b equals to 1 by 2 into cos a minus b minus cos a plus b therefore particular integral i am rewriting that particular integral yp equal to 1 by d square plus 5d minus 6 into 1 by 2 into cos 3x minus cos 5x. Cos a minus b means 4x minus x is cos 3x. Again, 4x plus x is 5x. Means 1 by 2 into cos 3x minus cos 5x. Now, what I will do? I will write here 1 by 2 into 1 by d square plus 5d minus 6 into cos 3x. Again, 1 by 2 into 1 by d square plus 5d minus 6. now replace d square by coefficient of x here again in the second part also replace d square by coefficient of x in the first term with the coefficient of x is 3 in the second term the coefficient of x is 5 now when you are replacing d square by minus 9 in the first term in the second term replace d square by minus 25 because replace d square by minus 3 square in the first term replace d square by minus 5 square this is the rule when you observed cos 3x or sin 3x then this can be written as 1 by 2 into cos 3x by 5d minus 15 minus 1 by 2 into 5d minus 31 cos 5x then this can be written as this is 5 is common 1 by 2 into 1 by 5 cos 3x by d minus 3 here also 1 by 2 into 5d minus 31 then rationalize the factor what is the rationalized factor 5d minus 31 is 5d plus 31 then i will multiply and divide with 5d plus 31 in the second factor 5d plus 31 5d plus 31 into cos 5x then this can be written as 1 by 2 into 1 by 5 Or d plus 3 into cos 3x by d square minus 9, 5d plus 31 by 25d square minus 961 into 5 cos 5x means a plus b into a minus b. We need d square terms in place of denominator. When you observe cos 5x or sin 5x, then this can be written as once again I am writing here 1 by 2 into 1 by 5 minus 1 by 18. Differentiation of cos 3x is minus 3 sin 3x. Plus three cos three x. Again, this is minus one by two into minus six twenty five minus six nine sixty one multiply with five d minus five sine five x minus twenty five sine five x. 
plus 31 cos 5x because differentiation of cos 5x is minus sin 5x into 5 already 5 is there that is minus 25 sin 5x plus 31 cos 5x the final answer i am writing here particular integral yp equals to minus sin 3x plus cos 3x by 60 plus 25 sin 5x minus 31 cos 5x by 3172 this is the particular integral now the general solution of the Differential equation is y equal to yc plus yp complementary function plus particular integral. The answer is y equal to c1 e power x plus c2 e power minus 6x minus of sin 3x plus cos 3x by 60 plus 25 sin 5x minus 31 cos 5x by 3172. This is the general solution of the given differential equation.